Go. One, two, three, four. Hi everyone, this is Jay, and I am back with the game. <laughs> I think we're almost done on the second floor. Just gonna go kick some blobby ass. Some blobby behind. And then, if I have discovered all the things, still haven't seen Inconsequentia. I don't think. No, I don't have any quests. Still haven't seen Inconsequentia, which is odd. Because you usually find her at least once on every floor, and I haven't found her once on any floor. Unless I did, and I just didn't pay attention. But I don't think I did. Which is weird. I really want Inconsequential now because of the fact that we have... Ooh, the fact that we have... Um, it belongs in a museum. means that we can easily get a lot of XP through it. Um, we do have treasures, luckily. Yeah, we will gladly ship you off to a museum. There we go. Oh, wait. Uh, where are you? There you are. Yep. Not too much XP, only six, only 96. But it makes sense. Let me check this unarmed leather jacket. Hmm. Okay. So, I'm doubting whether I want the new jacket, because we have Sagicity, Mana Point, and Magic Power, and this one increases Caddishness, which we established is good, Armor by 4, and Enemy Dodge Reduction, or no, Armor Absorption, which means on every attack we get 2 less damage than we normally would. Mm. Ah, this is hard. Mm. We lose two dodge, but we get back four armor, four four block, and we lose one counter, but we get back two. Mm. Caddishness also a combat thing. Mm. I think we have enough. Suggestity to do this, and we can transmute this one into XP, which inherently, which I think, yeah, makes it worth it. Okay, turn on the tap, tappy taps, get my tap on. Oh, the guards, uh, let me get rid of this for you. There we go. There we go. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. I think this is the last door. Oh, we have this little dingo over there. Which I will explore because it's, there might be mystical graffiti on the floor, on the wall. Or something else. Maybe even a knight. Or a treasure. Okay. Um, yeah. I think that's it. No, there's also... Over there, over here, that I haven't gone to yet. So, just a couple dingles. Just a couple dingles to take care of. Get your butt out of here. There's literally nothing, so that's a waste of time. Again, that's something that this game sometimes does. I don't like that it does it, but I will take it. It's because it's because the game is randomly generated every time. Every time, like there is no none, no two playthroughs are going to be exactly the same. Just because the dungeon is randomly generated, which I I think is a very good, very good quality of the game. Really gives it a lot, a lot of replayability because your game is going to be different every time and the fact that you have 100% control of your character like its growth and such is also going to really enhance replayability at least to me um, I'm not of course I don't know if it does for you 
if that's not your thing. But if you like games like Binding of Isaac, you're gonna like this game as well, I think. Anyway, another commercial for this game. Which I think earns it. I think it does. It does, I guess. Okay, that's this floor. Again, no consequential, which is weird. We did get an Anvil of Kron, though. There is an obelisk. Did I just miss it? There is another door over there. Which we didn't go through. That might be where she is. Let's go over there. Let me click the right thing as well. That helps. Where was it? Was it over here? Oh, that would suck if she's in there, because I can't go in here. I need teleportation for that. And I'm not a map. I'm not a map magician. Not a map magician, I ain't. Okay, so this is the floor where we were last time. When I died. So, let's hope it goes better this time. Let's hope I don't die because of my own stupidity. Ugh. Every time the game lags, I expect a monster zoo. Ooh, ooh, punch. Get out of here. Grow advantage. Every time, the, every time the game lags when I open the door, I expect a monster zoo. Because the game tends to sort of drop. Uh, the game speed tends to drop whenever it needs to make a lot of mon- Okay, so... Oh, it can hit me. But can when I sit here? There we go. Can can't hit me when I'm here. So, but it tends to, because it has to spawn a, a, a sh shitload of monsters that all move independently. Um, I am going to keep using the other orb. Am I? I have poison. Nah, I'm gonna... Wait. Oh, but this, this increases health regen as well. Okay. And I'm gonna ship this one off to a museum. 120. Again, not that much XP. Punch. Tap on. Get out of here. So the Diggles are on oh, Uber Chest. Yes, the Diggles are an invention of this game, and I think they're very. I like them a lot. They're very likable. Um, very cute as well. They come in a whole bunch of different sizes. I'm not sure. Uh, sizes and variations. I'm not sure which ones we've seen. So far, we've seen Enraged Diggles, uh, Fire Diggles, uh, Poison Diggles, Natural Diggles, Invis there is Invisible Diggles as well. That Diggle was a Diggle leader, which means all the other ones are scared of me now for good reason, because I'm going to unleash a fucking tornado on his ass. Get out of here, you Dingle. Oh, my inventory's full. Um. Okay. This is the part where I eat. Yep. So, are you a Hyperborean potion? Hyperborean potion, okay. So, this is the part where I consume random things, also known as. Don't take life advice from Jay! Because. You will eat all the things. Oh my gosh, look at all of this stuff I have going. Oh boy, uh, 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 My stomach is full of mushrooms. What does this do? Does it kill me? Yes, it does. Fuck. <laughs> it's my own fault, but. I always forget with the aquas. Um. Yep. There we go. 
get in there. Um, oh, I think I actually have another ring spot left open. There we go. <laughs> I like how this works. Like I have a whole shitload of resistances, so they tack up on another, they tack on another piece. Um, let me see. Is there anything else? No, there's nothing else for me to consume because I need my MP potions. If I'm a warrior class, I'll just randomly start consuming MP potions as well, just because. No, I don't need you. Monster Zoo. No, just a dingle. So, oh, there we go. So remember on the first floor how I had to walk around and flee that guy? Not anymore, I don't, because I got fucking strong and powerful as shit. And that's why I love this game, because it allows for moments like that. It's so cool. This is a good necklace, Cybertronic necklace. Um, and I will gladly gladly trade it for the other one. This one was okay. This is really this is a good thing. Cybertronic necklace. Get in there. Stand there. There we go. So get the sparkle shines. So the the the, the necklace is it gives me that means lets me do three extra electronic damage, which is good on this floor because there's like robots and shit. Uh, electronic resistance, uh, celestial damage resistance, and it ups my sagacity, which compensates for the fact that I put on the jacket earlier. Robo bolt trigger. There we go. So yeah, it's a good. It's just, just fuck it. It's really good. Um, sorry, this room. Hit the guy. Kick the guy. Disarm the trap. Don't disarm the trap. There's a whole shitload of you guys. So I have to disarm the trap. Come on, Emotep. There we go. Two Emotep. No, it doesn't work a second time. There we go. Two Emotep. Two no Ra. Okay, Ra, Ra works. No mystical graffitis. It might be that I get, I, I sometimes get distracted, as you've probably noticed. It might be that I just, that there are rooms with mystical graffiti and that I just don't notice. Which kind of sucks because I still really want to show you guys and experience it myself as well. How that works. Oh, Lamp of Trong. Okay, so I am gonna upgrade my Cybertronic necklace. He is pleased. Adds suffocation resistance. Why did I lose resistances? Whatever. Whatever, that's clone. I ain't even mad. So, let's get this room. Nothing. Fucking. What was even the point? Okay, so this guy, the floaty cloud guy, is the one who killed me on the first floor um, in my first run with this build because I talked to Inconsequentia and he's like, yeah, you have to beat this guy. And he has a whole ton of resistance to the kind of damage you do on, the, on floor one, which means that I couldn't, I couldn't hit him. I did one damage and he hit seven to mine. Didn't have any ranged attacks, didn't have a bow, didn't have nothing. I just, I just fucking had to roll over and die. It sucked so much. But now I can beat him in two punches because I got really fucking powerful. Oh, Monster Zoo. Okay. Remember what I do here? Oh yeah! I summon fucking tornadoes of sand. And I reap in the experience. And I jiggle around. <laughs> Uh oh. There we go. Fuck you guys. Um, this one. Increase mana regen and mana so. Wait, why am I. Why am I walking back? Why is it doing this? Is the game glitching? Oh, it was. Hmm. 
for some reason my character kept walking backwards, which wasn't something I wanted to do because I didn't have fucking have to do with the monsters. Here. But for some reason it started walking backwards. There we go. Oh, I fucking won it. Oh no, I hit a weird tornado first. Look at that. I just uh it makes me so happy that I got this powerful now. Oh, you guys can go fuck yourselves. I am... I am the embodiment of the Egyptian gods. I am... the unconquered sun. That's what I am. This is a thing I do as the unconquered sun. And you... you can go fuck yourself. Oh, what is this? It burns... what? Thaumaturgic conflux? Is there something that can happen when you form a tragic tap? I've never had this happen to me. What is this? What is this? Haywire chance. Magic resistance. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. That kind of sucks. So what happened is I now have plus 15 mana, plus plus 10 mana regen, which is good, and. Five, plus 5 magic power, which is also good, but minus 15 magic resistance, and there's guys shooting magic at me here. And... Oh, my inventory's full. That's why it's over there. Okay. But I killed it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I never had this happen to me. Thaumaturgic Conflux. It's an interesting thing. It's probably because I used Thaumaturgic Tap too much. That it sort of did just did that thing. Look at this, look at all these things I have. Isn't this cool? I like it. Um need to get myself a store. Hmm. I can probably get rid of the mushrooms that I don't need. Can definitely get rid of the traps, because I'm never gonna use those. If the character steps to here, he's gonna be in a world of hurt. Hmm. Send this thing off to a museum for 388 XP. That's good. It's pretty good. Um. Oh, I don't. I still have the. Oh, that's a treasure as well. Forgot about that. Okay. Good. Um. I think I'm done here. Yeah. But yeah. If I. I don't know if you remember me being really scared in the other monster zoos just because I had to be anxious but now giant breeze and I'll get I'll breathe through this room as well after I take a tiny break spoilers I'm gonna summon tornadoes see you in a bit